whoever had the game before me has a handy dandy little list of sticky notes in the in the instruction manual here um that recording is such low fps and blurry as hell man <laughs> i don't know what they use to record footage of this game but it looks like crap anyways uh so like in spring you can grow tomato watermelon strawberries and potatoes summer tomato watermelon melon and turnip in the fall tomato strawberry melon turnip carrot yam i'm assuming this is what you can grow or maybe it's just what they were specifically trying to grow and winter strawberry turnip potato carrot apparently i don't know on little uh, always pads sticky notes in the manual so very handy uh shout out to the person that i brought bought this from thank you for the uh for the note there i'm sure <laughs> that'll come in handy for some reason Oh. oh, sadly, the game that I was working on for a friend, though, that I was talking about earlier, um, the game itself's busted, sadly. The console works, the little Retron 1 AV thing, that works just fine. I stuck in one of my known good games, instantly started up. It was uh, Metal Gear Solid, actually. Uh, or not Metal Gear Solid, just Metal Gear. Um, put that one in and instantly started right up, no problems at all, looked I mean, as great as it would over a uh, a, a component cable or a composite cable. Because for some reason, a modern-day retro console uh, knockoff without HDMI? Like, dude, come on. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, booted up instantly, looked great, all that BS. Um, put their game in, nothing. Reflowed all the solder, cleaned the pins, um, checked all the traces... Everything seems fine. I don't have the tools to check the chips, but I can only assume that is one of the chips. Oh, I also checked the resistors. Uh, those were fine. I wasn't able to check the cap. The cap looks good, the capacitor. Um, so I assume that it's fine, but I uh, don't have tools to properly check that either. Uh, but I'm assuming it's probably one of the chips, sadly, that are bad. And it was just a Super Mario Brothers 1 slash Duck Hunt game. So, like, not worth trying to get a new chip and do a board swap or anything like that a cheap game but anyways Takak takakura ah what nice weather we have today where are we going well let's just say we're going to a place that i promised your father i would take you this place your father and i stumbled upon it long ago when we were both still young the people who lived here call it forget me not valley well here we are this is it it's a hell of a name for a place dude this is the land that your father and I found together. The buildings are old, but still usable. There are fields, too. And if you spread a little fertilizer in the pasture, it could be useful for grazing animals. It could be used for grazing animals. <laughs> I never played this one a ton. I can't remember if it was this one or uh, the other PlayStation 2 Harvest Moon game. One of them, my stepdad, IRL stepdad, played a ton of growing up. My favorite Harvest Moon game was uh, the PlayStation 1 uh, Wonderful Life? Was it? No, 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 no. Um, nature. Nature. Fuck! <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. But, uh, anyways, that's, that's my favorite Harvest Moon game. These ones I've played around with when I was younger, but never, like, got more than like a year in or something like that well what do you think do you want to try farming that's how i thought you'd react surprised you did i it was your father's dream you know for us to farm this land i'd like to see that dream come true i'm sure he would be even happier if you would do it with me so what do you say will you try it no i see well you can't be helped is that gg well i guess i'll do it by myself <laughs> Peace, Gramps. <laughs> oh, dude, he looks so sad. I don't know if that's just how he always looks when he walks around, but, like, he looks really fucking sad. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> what was that random scene for? Where he just says, come on, let's go. And then it just zooms into the TV. <laughs> I 
I was just curious what would happen. I've never said no before, so I was like, uh, you know, just had to try. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're, we'll say yes this time. We want to farm. We do want to farm. I like farming. I want some cows and some chickens, maybe some sheep. I don't remember what all animals you can get in this game. Um, grow some crops and things. Son of a bitch. I'm not having a good time right now. <laughs> I tried to adjust myself in my chair and get comfy. Got wrapped up in a cord. Fixed the cord. Tried to get myself comfy again. Dropped the freaking controller. <laughs> like, Nate, what's up, my guy? I thought you were asleep, to be honest. All right, come on. Let's get through the text. Yes, I want to farm. boy. I'm sure your father would be proud. Well, then, let me show you around. This is the barn. You can keep cows, horses, and sheep here. I'll show you the inside later. Next door is the tool shed. Hey, nice, Nate. That's cool, man. There are shelves for tools and other things in here. Feel free to use the tools in here. <laughs> the tools you will need right away are on the tool shelf, and some crop seed is on the shelf, too. Be sure to get them. Thought a cat jumped off the desk, but it's just me being loud. Sorry, I dropped the controller. This is the food storage. Put milk and other things you want to sell in here. I'll take them to the city the next day. If there's anything you want me to buy for you, there's an order form here, so just write it down. This is the chicken coop. You can raise chickens here. Fork, fork. Look at the puppies. Which puppy do we want? I'm assuming we get to pick one. Maybe we get both. I don't know. But I'm assuming we pick one. Looks like we have some stray dogs here. They seem to like you. Oh, all right, but I'm not too fond of dogs, so just one, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Gramps. The pointy-eared one or the floppy-eared one? You guys, some pointy-eared people or some floppy-eared people? What's the consensus in chat? Pick them both anyway. <laughs> it's not an option. We can only do one. Do we like pointy ears or floppy ears? I don't really have a preference, I don't think. Well, generally speaking, I'd say I probably would prefer pointy ears on dogs, but I mean, whatever. What happens to the other dog first? Tell me. I legit don't know. It's been a long time, man. I'm 30 years old. I probably played this when I was like 14. <laughs> so it's probably been like 16-ish years since I played this. Don't know. Hold up. Floppy? Two? That's two for floppy. It's looking like floppy. Floppy your dog it is. Okay. Why don't you pick out a name for him? I probably prefer pointed to, but <laughs> it's uh my vote doesn't count, sadly. It was two to one. Why don't you pick out a name for him? Pick a name for the dog. Has anybody got a, a... What's a good name for a dog? Can we just name it dog? God, I hate alphabetical keyboards. Dog? No. <laughs> don't just say no. Give us an idea then. God, that's like an actual arrow? How do you go back? Okay, circle. <laughs> Who the hell puts, like, symbols in there? We can just give it a face. No, that doesn't work. Uh... <laughs> oh. 
space too far apart. There you go. That looks like a good dog name. L-I-T-T-L-E. Can't do Little Ann. We can just name it Ann, though. Little Ann won't fix. We only got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Old Dan? That'll probably fit. Resident Evil 4? There we go. I was just talking about how... Wait. <laughs> That's what you wanted to name the top. That won't fit either. <laughs> Damn it. I thought you voted on Resi 4. I was like, oh, I was just talking earlier about how that has no votes. Well... Old... Uh, is there a space? I don't think there's a space. So... Yeah, you can't select the space. I mean, that's fine. We'll just have to camel case it. Or not camel case, but whatever. Dan. There we go. One of the dogs from Where the Red Fern Grows. I've never read Where the Red Fern Grows. Heard of it. Never read it. All right, I found an owner for the other one in the city. There you go. That's what happens to the other one. It just finds a different loving home, at least according to Gramps. I'll make a doghouse for him later too. Bro, that is sad. <laughs> Why do we make such sad things, damn it? Life is already sad. I want happy things. <laughs> and this is your house. It's a cute house. I fixed it up a bit so you can move right in. Oh, my house? My house is... Turns to a giant mansion in the woods. Nah, I'm pretty sure he has a pretty humble house too. Yeah. The building across from the food storage is where I live. Well, that's about it for now. When you can get the th when you get the hang of things, you may want to add more buildings. Oh yeah, come here for a minute. Now there is one really cool thing about either this Harvest Moon game or the other, maybe both. Um, you actually get older in these ones, uh, or in one of them. I can't remember which one or if it's both. Regardless, there's a Harvest Moon game, maybe more, where you get older, and if you have a child, that child grows older too. And then at some point, you actually die. <laughs> like, you get old, you pass away, and you pass it on to your child to keep going, man. And I think that's so cool. I, uh, As far as I remember, once the child becomes an adult, there's no more aging. Like, time freezes there. Um, but still, I thought that was really cool. Because normally in Harvest Moon games or Stardew Valley or whatever, you know, that doesn't happen. The child might age up to be, like, a slightly larger child or whatever. But you never actually get old and die or anything like that. So, I always thought that was kind of neat. I bought you a cow. This is her feed box. I'd like you to give her a name. God damn it. A uh, cow. C O W. <laughs> Or we'll keep the theme going. Old cow. O. L. If it's not clear, I'm. Uh. Words don't work. I'm stalling for a name. Does anybody have a name? Because otherwise it's gonna be Old Cow. <laughs> now I'd probably name it, I don't know, Betsy. Betsy's a classic name. God, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, we can give old cow a star. Old cow star? No? Is that a bad name? <laughs> I need help. I don't know. Old Dan died protecting his owner from a mountain. From a whole ass mountain? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Dude, that's a powerful dog. I'm assuming you need mean mountain lion. Dies from his injuries. Ah, I got you. I got you. Mountain lion. I figured that's what you meant. I was picking on you. Melba? Okay. Melba it is. 
That's the first one that popped up that wasn't old cow, so we'll go with it. Um. God, why is it in alphabetical order? This is terrible. I'm gonna make a ROM hack of this game just to fix the stupid keyboard. Melba, go. Is this name okay? Yes. Ooh, Pixel 7! You already know my feelings on cell phones. <laughs> I'm happy for you, I hope you like it, but me personally, I don't know. Does it make phone calls? Can I browse the internet? That's all I care about. <laughs> like, I just don't care about phones anymore. But uh, no, I'm, I'm happy for you though, like I said, man. I hope you like it. It does look like a really nice phone. And uh, I'm looking forward to the Pixel 8a whenever that comes out and I get it. Melba, that's a good name. Our first cow. This is cause for celebration. Take good care of her now. By the way, it's been about 10 days since this cow gave birth, so you should be able to milk her a couple of times a day. Oh, uh, they're probably going to ask us to name the farm at some point, too. So if anybody has farm names, now's your time. You're looking at coffee options? God. My little coffee-holic. How'd you shatter the screen on the 6A? Weren't you just talking last night about how there's just a tiny little crack in the bottom of it? <laughs> What'd you do, my guy? I think that's everything. Almost forgot. You gotta think of a name for the farm. Red Fern Farm. Of course. Of course. Should've known. Should've known. Uh, a Red Fern. Because I'm assuming they'll throw farm on the end of it. And even if they don't, um, Red Fern Farm won't fit. So just red... Red Fern. Just fits. This name okay? Yes. Noodle did slam theirs in a car door. Completely broke it. Thankfully, it's only like, I don't know, she had the insurance on it, so it was only like $25, maybe $50. I don't know. I think it was like $50 to get it replaced, but still. Red Fern Farm, eh? All right. Well, while we're at it, let me introduce you to the people who live here. I'm not really a people person, but you're still young, so you probably need some friends. Let's go. They did? Yes, they did. I figured they would. Most uh, farming sims seem to, to do that. Hmm, what's wrong? Uh, you can show us around. It's been a long-ass time since I played this game. Bro, the textures on this game are actual ass. <laughs> Just realizing they are so low res. Holy hell. I love the way the people just randomly spawn in every time the scene changes. Uh, Duncan's Noodle. This is Tim and his wife, Ruby. They run the Inner Inn and their son, Rock. How should I introduce you? Tim, Ruby, and their son, Rock. Nice. By the fucking god, Tim looks, uh, you know, fancy, you mean? Uh, how do, how do I type on this? T Billy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to name our, us Billy? Is that the the main character from Red Fern? Where the Red Fern grows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever. I don't care. Maybe. I figured as much, man. <laughs> oh, you got a whole role play thing going on here. Billy. I see. Wait, you didn't know my name? <laughs> How long did you know my dad and you didn't know my name? You getting lots of Dunkins lately? They have a caramel chocolate cold brew. Ooh, well, that does sound good, honestly, and I don't even drink that much coffee these days. Oh, and there's a girl na named Nami staying on the second floor here. <laughs> That's just fucking... <laughs> the old man's face and the way he just spawned in, dude. This is Gallon and his wife, Nina. Hello, Gallon and Nina. Uh, hello, Mommy. I mean, uh, Chris. <laughs> Bachelorette, maybe, maybe. This is her husband, Wally, and their son, Hugh. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> I don't think that is a bachelorette. <laughs> There we go. That's got to be one. 
Griffin is the Blue Bar's bartender, and Muffy works there part-time. I cannot marry someone named Muffy. <laughs> that is not happening. Muffy is being striken off the list. Yes, definitely a bachelorette. Definitely not an option. <laughs> not without a name change. <laughs> like, Muffy is a no. <laughs> Romana lives in the villa with her granddaughter Lumina, and that's their butler Sebastian. Lumina's not bad. The fact that they have a butler bothers me, though. <laughs> not sure if I'm into all that. Yeah, butler, exactly. Ooh, what about the brown-haired girl up there? Vesta also runs a farm here. Over there is Vesta's brother, Marlin, and that's Celia, who helps them with their work. They'll sell you seeds for your crops. Uh... Her eyes were a little crooked there for a second, but you know what? Celia is definitely the one for us, dude. There's going to be a possum squishmallow. Nice. You choose Romana? What? Who's Rom What? What's Romana? I'm so confused. There are people living over there, too. Was that a person that we met? I forget. I'm sorry. <laughs> My memory is not good. There are people living over there, too. There are two brothers who make fireworks, an artist, a guy who does experiments, a guy who's always playing the guitar. Oh, and? And? There's a professor and his assistant living in the tent by the waterfall. They're doing some kind of excavation. Well, I guess that's that. For reasons it makes me giggle. Is it the name? Wasn't there a golden... There might have been. I just don't remember, man. You know how my memory is. Must be tired out by all of this excitement. You can take it easy for a while. If you have any questions, ask me anytime. Well, have a good rest. Thanks, Gramps. I'm not using your name, by the way. You're just Gramps from now on. Flock? Never seen this harvest sprite before. Romani. Who is it? Who is it? Nick Knack is the other one. Patty Whack? But who could it be? We're the only harvest sprites in this town. Flack. Knickknack Flack. Okay. I think you're right. So who is it? Post your elves. I'll remind you later. I'm so confused. Billy. I see. A harvest sprite named Billy. Nice name. Oh, I see. I'm Knack. Nice to meet you. My name's Nick. Nice to meet you. My I'm Flack. Nice to meet you. You too, little dudes. I like that giant seam going down the ground. I legit love Harvest Moon games, most of them at least. But, uh... <laughs> this is a special edition. It was ported over from, I think, the GameCube. And it shows. <laughs> okay, time moves while we're indoors. Good to know. We have a milker. Uh... Do we have anything else? We have $3,000. Nice. To use it, stand next to a cow and press the X button. We have 14 pages of inventory? What? Seriously? That's a lot of inventory, dude. Is this like how we equip stuff? I'm assuming that's what that is. Yeah, okay. So we're just carrying around the milker now. Select is the map. Okay, the other buttons don't seem to do anything. Can we interact with any of the stuff here? Breeze is on the player. Do you want to turn it off? No, that's fine. Do you want to take Breeze? No. Uh, weather. And now for a 12-hour weather report. Some light clouds remain high in the sky, but it is still clear. Wait, how do we... Is it the arrow keys? Arrow keys. Hello, welcome to Crop Talk. Today we're discussing fields. Ron and John are here with questions. Will seeds sprout just anywhere? No, only when they're in a field. So what's a field like? It's a patch of good, rich soil. You use a hoe to till furrows into the soil and plant your seeds there. All right, so we take a hoe and plant our seed? Okay, thing I'm following so far. Will every kind of seed grow in that field? Unfortunately not. Each seed grows best in a certain kind of soil, and some won't grow without fertilizer. Got it? I guess? That's our show for today. I feel like that could have been a little more helpful. 
Today we have Nick from Dewdrop Village with a fishing report at the riverbank. Let's see how they're biting. How's it going, Nick? Horrible. <laughs> I'd catch a fish, but then a monkey or, or a bear would sneak up and steal it. Got so hungry my head was swimming. I stumbled a little and trip. And boy, is the water cold. So now I'm being carried downstream. What a mess. I'm sure this happened because my mom didn't give me a lunchbox this morning, and I thought she loved me. Okay, I think we get the idea. Listen, Nick, thanks for the report. Until next time. The fuck was that about, dude? <laughs> Today you'll be lucky. A cocktail will improve your vitality. Today's lucky item is wild plants. Okay. Choose a kind of dish to make. Salad. Uh, we have nothing, so... Doesn't look like we're making any food. Drawers? Small chest, okay. Ah, okay, so I'm assuming this just tells us about things. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, you can determine the best soil. The soil at this farm gets better the farther you go from your house. Biggest field is the most fertile. It's best to plant a seed as soon as possible in a compatible season. If the seeds season ends before the harvest, it will wilt. Don't plant seeds next to trees. They will wilt. Okay. Good to know, then. long ass loading screens thank you puppy old dan's house oh god okay that camera zooms around so this was the food storage right i think so is there anything in here no okay so that's our shipping bin though to send stuff out this must be the cold storage? Oh, dairy shipping bin. Okay. Didn't realize we had two different shipping bins. Is this the order book? Yes. Order items. Order extension. Sell an animal. Food processing room. A pond? We have enough money for a pond. feel like that's probably a bad idea. Cow, sheep, chicken. Tools. Ho, light ho, sickle, light sickle. I'm assuming the light ones probably just use less stamina. Good fodder and bird feed. Is that everything we can order? Yeah, okay. So we probably don't need to get any of that stuff right now. You love where I put my bell? Man, thanks, man. Ask me if you have any questions, but I think you'll learn fast if you try a lot of things on your own. If you're having trouble, I wrote down some advice in the notebook on the shelf, and this may be none of my business, but you should try to find a wife soon. It's always your father's dream for you to run this farm with your family. By the way, if you try showing lots of items to people, they may tell you some interesting things. Remember that. Will do, my guy. Is this the fridge? Yes. Or freezer, I guess. Whatever. Close enough. Let's, uh, we got the, the milker. Guess we should probably go milk our cow. Is it best to milk them in the morning? Does it matter? This is the tool shed, right? Uh, yes, okay, watering can. I will take. And... Why is there a spot for so many different sickles? I'll take the sickle. I'll take the hoe. And I guess that's it. I don't see anything else. nothing else we can do in here calf hutch a tent used to protect a newborn calf oh fence for isolating a pregnant cow oh there we go two tomato seeds two. quiet winter so i'm assuming that's like a record we can change seeds other okay 
Where's the side door go to? Does, I'm assuming it goes into the barn, right? The barn was right next to here. Hello, cow? There's the old cow. What was their name again? Melba? Cow milker. Okay, milking takes a while. Holy hell. Uh, normal milk. How do I pick it up? Excuse me. It's cool. Sorry about that. I turned my head, but I feel like it still picked up a bit. There we go. Pick up. Oh, shit. There's more than one. Okay. Put in backpack. Put in backpack. Just carry around some milk. Good. We have some fodder. Can we, like, hand feed the cow? Melba's fine. Seems to be comfortable enough. Uh, there we go. Put in. Does this thing on the wall tell us, like, how much fodder we have? Press X. You have 49 left. Okay, so we have some. Wait, what's this? Ah, trash bin. Is there a way to, like, let the cow out? I mean, I'm sure there is. Is there... I just don't remember how it works in this one. I think you just open the barn doors. Probably with this big red button. Yeah, move animals out to pasture. It's a nice day out. Is there... Okay, yeah, it looks like there's some, some grass or whatever growing here. Is it possible for us to, like, hop the fence? Yes, thank goodness. Okay, so this was... A chicken coop? Okay, the animations and things feel a little rough, dude. Not gonna lie. Yeah, it's a chicken coop. I would like to get a chicken soon. I don't know if that's what we should be spending our money on right off the bat. Probably should just be focusing on buying some crops, but I do kind of want to just buy a chicken. I'm not gonna lie. What's this? Harvest? Wish it, like, told us a little bit about it without us going into the menu. Just because of the stupid loading screen. Mugwort. Okay. I don't know what mugwort is. Apparently, if we show it to people, they might tell us about it, though. How do we give gifts? Can we not give gifts in this one? That's another small field. This is more mugwort, I'm assuming. Which we can eat. I don't know if we should, but we can. What is this random thing? Is this the... Okay, we can't go in it. This is just the wilderness. Where's the big field? Because he mentioned, like, the big field has the best soil. Oh. Okay, that's that's how we whistle. Uh, we have a first person view. The camera does not work well. Hi, t t uh, Gramps, whatever your name was. Where's the big field? Cows won't give you milk all the time. If they're sick or about to give birth, they won't give milk. Uh, they'll stop giving milk to... Wait. What? Okay. I don't know what the first part of that message was, but whatever. Can we snoop around Gramps' house? Looks like it. I am avoiding the conversation. Young-looking Gramps and a pretty woman are smiling in the picture. Gramps have food? Combine two types of fruit with milk for a nice dessert. It's a good note. I like it. I still need to know where this big field is, though. <laughs> 
there's the road. Bruh. Hold on, maybe... Is the big field actually where all of that crap is? And I just need to clear it out because it's, like, dirty? Is this the big field? Shit, that's not... Ah! <laughs> oh, hi, dog. Um, sickle. Right, these loading screens are a bit much, my guy. I don't know if it's just my disc or what, but it's heavy and tiring to use. Uh, I can't seem to use it here. Okay. Map, maybe? Is that? No, that's the villa. This is our farm. That's Vesta's farm. Dig site, spring. That's the town. Where's my field? <laughs> I'm so confused. I guess we'll just plant stuff in this little field here. He said farther away from the house is more fertile, so I guess we'll go here first. Um, okay, go into the backpack. Get out the hoe. And... I'm assuming seeds work in this one, like... Not like the Harvest Moon game that I like. Um... I'm assuming each one only does one thing. Tomato seed. Oh, wait, he did say if we, like, inspect it, we can get more info on it, right? How do we inspect it? Help. Growing season, spring through fall will grow in any kind of soil somewhat fast. Okay. How do I inspect the soil? I'm just going to plant it here. I don't know if it's the best place to put it, but I'm going to put it here. Kiwi or orange? Oh, for lunch tomorrow? Uh, We'll do kiwi. I'll probably eat an orange tonight, though. Okay. So there's one planted. And then that's it for my seed. Watering can. God, everything happens so slow in this game. Is it out of water? I'm, I'm thinking it's out of water, and that's why that animation's playing the way it is. There we go. Now it's watered. Okay, and then check. Tomato seed was planted here. The soil is relatively fertile. Oh, you can just click on it to check the soil. So what's this field say? Very poor, okay. So we probably should have planted the tomatoes over here just because it says they'll grow anywhere. God damn it. <laughs> I keep trying to use like the the thing, the, the L2 and R2 buttons for like... Oh, can I not give him water? Well, that's lame. Oh, that's a food dish. Oh. Anyways, to try to turn the camera, but that's not how you turn the camera in this game. Alright, let's go into town, meet some people. I don't think there's anything else I can do here anyways. Or actually, you know what? What's up this hill here? Maybe this is where the large field is. God, I hope not. It would take like an hour just to run there. The music just changed. Weird. It's that giant plant over there. Can't see it now because of the angle of the camera, but... Can I collect these flowers? They're pretty. I can. Is there a quicker way to harvest things? Like if I use the sickle or something?
goddess drop. Interesting. I'm assuming I can't, like, fall in the water or anything, right? Yeah, no. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. We're gathering, dudes. Oh, this must be where the sprites live. What is that? Is that a caveman? Hello. Murray. Hey, what you got there? Give me something, boy. Uh, would you like a goddess drop? No. No thanks, Moy. Oh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what you like. I tried to give you something. Do you like milk? Are you going to give me that? Yes. Moy, moy, yippee. Okay, he seems to like milk. Uh, there's fish here too, Moy. Thanks for the tip, I guess. Man, it takes forever to do anything, doesn't it? Strange mushroom. Do you want to try eating it? Yes. <laughs> Am I gonna die? I'm thinking I'm gonna grow small. Okay, yeah, it grew small enough to go in here, I guess. I don't know. Think he wants a fish, maybe? I don't really know what Murray wants. You're our friend, Billy. You're a good person, so I like you. Knack, don't take too much food away from the forest. There won't be any left for us. So I shouldn't harvest literally everything I find. Don't take too much food from the forest. There won't be any left for us. Okay. Cute shelf. Very helpful. So when you eat random mushrooms in the forest, you find the harvest sprites. Good to know. Seems like you can only do that so many times, though. Uh, I don't know if these flowers are worth anything, so I'm going to stop collecting them. We don't have a fishing pole, so we can't fish yet. I'm sure, that's something we'll be able to do later. Let's go try to meet some of the village people. Maybe meet our future wife. She was in the farm, I think, right across from us over here. The opposite of town. Never have I wanted a horse so bad, dude. We are so slow. We just get these random speed boosts, too. It's like... <laughs> I'm guessing the game just, like was struggling to load there or something? I don't know. Hello, my love? Are you here? Are the village people doing... Why would they be doing the YMCA? Is there anybody in here? This doesn't really look like a house, but... Inner in tomato, two boxes, blue bar potato. Okay. So that's like their orders or whatever. Uh, I'm assuming you're not in any of these 300 greenhouses. What is this building? <laughs> right here. <laughs> Love you. Oh, oh, hello. How nice of you all to spawn in. Hello. I think Vesta gives her crops more love and affection than anyone. Maybe that's why they taste so good. Do you want to buy something today? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, okay, tell you what. What's the best thing to buy and grow? I have no idea. <laughs> ah. Oh, God. The cords. I'm wrapped up in cords again. Okay. Uh, 
I had to plug my mouse in because it's dying, so I have that cord running across my desk. Then I got the PlayStation 2 controller. I got the cord for my mic. It's a mess. Oh, the village people sing YMCA. Ha ha ha. Okay. Uh, tell you what. Let's get, like, can we afford three of each? Okay, so that's two tomatoes already planted, plus one, so that's three. Uh, yes. And I would like three watermelon seeds. Yes. Thank you. Everything will be okay? I hope so. And three strawberry seeds. And right, playing this game really just makes me want to play my favorite Harvest Moon game. Back to nature. That's what it's called. Holy shit. I finally remembered it. <laughs> uh, was that melon? I think it was melon. So now three turnip seeds. Better go one last 8 a.m. class for the week, and then you get to sleep in the next day. Hell yeah. I mean, gross on the whole one more. God damn it, my mouse just fell again. Anyways, <laughs> screw the 8 a.m. class, but I'm glad you got a day off. Hmm, back to nature, yes. Potato seeds. Uh, Let's get like five. Potatoes can probably grow in shit soil, and I like potatoes. <laughs> We're team to vote once a day, Harvest Moon Back to Nature. Sadly, that's a PlayStation 1 game, so it's not on the list, but uh, I wouldn't be against just putting it on the list somewhere anyways. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at some of this stuff. So we have Mugwort. Wild plant with a very strong smell. Toy flower. It blooms on the plains in spring. Smells faintly like soap. Goddess drop. This blooms on the plains in spring. Has a mildly sweet aroma like milk. Ew. Uh, Spring to summer. Will grow in any kind of soil. Good. Fall to spring. So does that mean they just don't grow in summer? in any kind of soil. Is that fall and spring or fall, winter, spring? I'm assuming it's fall, winter, spring. So we probably shouldn't plant those until next year. Because, uh, like, I don't know how long they take to grow, but summer to fall. So we can't use those right now. Summer to winter, so can't use those. Winter to spring. Okay, so really, can I, like... I can't organize things a little bit. So those are useless. Summer to winter. These are useless. Summer to fall. So these are useless. I mean, I guess we could probably... Screw it, they're not expensive. Winter to spring. So we will go ahead and grow them now. The potatoes. Summer to winter, so not you. What was that? Summer to fall, so not you. Fall to spring. We'll try growing the strawberries. Spring to summer, and we'll grow the watermelons. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That seems like a, a decent start to crops. Oh, can I, like, give you something, too, by the way? Do you like flowers? What's prettier? I guess the toy flower, maybe? Hmm, you have something nice there. Uh, give it to her? Are you sure? I'll treasure it. Yes. You can have all the flowers you want, my lady. Uh, no, I don't want to buy anything. Hello! How's your farm coming along? Let me know if you need some seeds. I'll gladly sell you some of what we have. When your crops are ready, ship them out. Just don't take any of my customers, ha ha ha. Do you sell anything different, or do you sell the same shit? You sell the same shit. 
Oh my god, there's so much more. Ah, my brain. Okay. Um. Alright. Shoot. Um. Okay. Three carrot seed. Uh. Three yam seeds. I like it better, like, in Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley, when they only sell the seeds you can grow in that season. This is much more confusing. <laughs> uh, one of each fruit, I guess. God, we're definitely not going to have enough money to buy a chicken, and I'm going to be sad. One orange. Uh, one grape. Like, grapes aren't trees, right? They grow on, like, vines. Maybe, maybe they regrow, like, fruit trees, though. One banana. And one apple. And what about you, before I do anything else? Working in the fields is hard work. So did you want to buy something? I'm assuming you sell the same thing as everyone else. So yeah, no. New. Okay. So now we got all these extra seeds to look at now. Oh God, there's so many. Uh, potato, carrots. Fall to winter. So that's a no-go. Does grow in any kind of soil though, but it grows slow. Yams, fall only. Any kind of soil. Peach. There's lots of fruit in summer. So, can we just. I'm assuming we can plant these like any time of year, the fruit trees. Fall. Summer. Fall summer. I'm hoping we can plant them anytime, because I'm going to try to plant them. I think I'm going to do the trees in that first field, though, the one closest to the house, because they all say they'll grow in any kind of soil, right? So, like, why not? Yeah. Screw it. You forgot to have me plug the block in? I'll try to remember whenever I, uh, get done here, or get up, or whatever. Okay, so I'm assuming there's nothing else to do on your farm here besides... Is this a new kind of flower? What are you? Oh no, you're just goddess drop. Hello? Do you want to talk to me? Do you want stuff? Do you like... Goddess drops? They smell like milk. No? Okay, well... I tried. Can't interact with the animals, I guess. Uh, What was down this road? Nothing. Can I leave? Can I just run away? I don't like this life. I want to go. I only said yes to Gramps because I felt bad. What? You want to go beyond this point? Are you quitting? No. Okay. I, I really want to just to see what happens, though. So I don't think there's anything, like, down here, right? Yeah, no, just some... Just some open, open in grass and stuff. There's a lot of texture warping as you get closer to things. It's weird. I feel like it's not the uh, the best port of a game in the world. But it's already one in the afternoon too. Like, time flies, man. 
Hello, Rock. I love this time of year. Want to smell the flowers with me? No, <laughs> not really. So this is the inn? Hello, person whose name I forget. Tim. Oh, you came by a while ago, didn't you? Billy, wasn't it? How do you like Forget-Me-Not Valley? Tell you the truth, I've traveled all over the world, and somehow I wound up running this in here. Hmm, very cool. Can I go in the, like, back room? No one is in, okay. Guess not. What's in the side area here? Is this the kitchen? Are you working hard or hardly working? Ha <laughs> ha! Very funny. Maybe Tim and Ruby collect dishes? A note is attached. How to make a simple salad. Light pickles use only a turnip. Okay. Kitchen's large and easy to use. How to make simple soups. Yam soup uses just a yam. Tomato soup uses a tomato and a carrot. Wine bottles. So we can find random recipes just all over the place. Which is good to know. Game, I hate to tell you, but stairs aren't doors. Um, no one is in. What's that? Souvenir of Tensukaku. Okay. The left one's a man, the right a woman. Maybe... A no maybe. A note is attached. Side dish can be made just with fish. Okay. Normally, I would consider fish to be, like, the main meal, but... To each their own, I guess. If you want to eat fish as a side dish, who am I to judge? What else was here? I know there was more stuff. Hello, child. Who are you again? Hugh. Oh, you're the guy from the farm. That's me, Hugh. Do you say anything else if I talk to you, like, again? They say there are harvest sprites living in the woods, but nobody's ever seen them. I've seen them. I like running, but I like just hanging around, too. Hugh, you might be the most interesting person in this town so far. Hello, who are you again? Did I meet you? Nami, oh, this is the person that lives upstairs in the inn. People here are always so happy when spring rolls around. I wonder what's so great about it. Uh, I don't know, maybe the trees? <laughs> don't you think that smiles wouldn't be nearly as attractive if we didn't have frowns too? Very deep, Nami, very deep. People here are all friendly. Well, that's nice, right? Is that a beach? What's down on the beach? I mean, I should be, like, planting stuff and whatnot, but... What is this? Is this where the... Why am I running so much quicker all of a sudden? Oh, there's a person here. Hello. Cody, I'm an artist. I make iron sculptures. Nice to meet you. You as well, Cody. Your sculptures sound like they're going to zap me. <laughs> I don't know if I appreciate that or not. I wish the camera was just either zoomed out a little bit more or a little bit lower, one or the other. Whose boat is this? I don't know. Why are you asking me? We go from, like, running so quick to barely running at all. I can only assume it's when it's, like, loading stuff in or there's too much stuff on screen. Who lives in the tent? No one, apparently. Uh, so we should probably go plant the rest of our stuff soon. I'm going to at least check out these last two houses up here. Oh, wait, who's this? 
Hold on. Is this the professor's house? It seems very unique. Hello. Daryl, I'm researching energy. Maybe I'll show you my experiments. You look scary. Don't touch any of those machines. Hey, no loitering. What machines? These machines? Could be dangerous if touched. Can I touch it anyways? CH2, CHC0, symbols like this continue. Wait, does it say flora there at the bottom? Okay. Weird. I uh, don't know chemistry that well, so it probably means something, but not to me it don't. CH might be chlorine. I don't know. <laughs> no clue. Can I see what's planted in here? No. Can't even go in there. Some sort of magic spell keeping me out. Bar. Okay, who's at the bar? This is where the person who... Muffy. <laughs> drink a lot when you're tired. You'll feel better. <laughs> hey, guys. When you're tired, get super drunk. It'll make you feel so much better. Drinks here are all Griffin Originals. You can't get them anywhere else. Try not to worry about tomorrow. After all, you'll never know what's going to happen, right? You know, most bars, when you talk to people, sell you stuff. Maybe the bar's not open yet? Is this where Griffin's hanging out? Hello. Hello, I'm the owner of the Blue Bar. Feel free to stop by and relax anytime. Girls only. Can't play the guitar? Guess not. It was worth a try. Now that Griffin's here, can I get some something? Uh, I want a drink. What would you like? Red punch, blue punch, moon trip, moo moo milk, cherry pink, stone oil. Give me some stone oil, my guy. Stone oil, right, just a minute. Here you go, drink up. That stone oil is very pink. I'm assuming that, like, restores some of our stamina because, uh, what Muffy was saying. But, like, when you're tired, drink a lot. You'll feel better. What I really want is, like, a potion of quickness. Very deep-looking well. I'm pretty sure I can see the ground under it, but, uh... I don't think there's actually a hole there, my guy. Hello, anybody home? I would like to come in your house and snoop around, please. No? Okay. I tried. What do I hear? Anybody here? Nope. Alright. I lied. We're going to go check out the mansion, too, and then we're going to go home and plant the rest of our stuff. Try to remember to put our cows away. Oh my god. Courting the rich girl would suck. Just because of how far you would have to run to talk to her. Or her butler. Since they're so fancy. We've got a fancy fountain. A shed out back? Yeah, well, I have a shed, too. What now? Think you're fancy with your fancy shed? Nah, man. I'm broke as hell. I spent all my money on booze and seeds. I have, like, three sheds. I have a freezer. I haven't seen anybody else with a giant-ass freezer. Like the regal music. Oh, kitties. Hello. Oh, I can steal the kitty. <laughs> what my eyes, dude? <laughs> what, what happened? Why were my eyes like that? Was it because the cat hopped out of my arms? I was just trying to steal it. Hit hold. Talk. 
This is a cat from the villa. You, you can't take it outside. Lame. What about this one? Same thing. Can I play the piano? No. Lame. Got so many doors. Hello? Anybody in this room? Oh, Mr. Butler, sir. Hello. Uh, oh, why, that's just... Just what? You, right? It's like a picture of you when you were younger. Oh dear, I must have put two pictures in it by mistake. Is that a picture of Lumina? Is that Romana when she was young? Is that a picture of your mother? What a pretty photo frame. Uh, is that Romana when she was young? So, sir, is very perceptive. That is indeed a picture of Miss Romana. This was taken when Miss Romana was just Miss Lumina's age. And as sir can see, the resemblance is remarkable. Photographs were still a rarity at that time, so this is the only picture of Miss Romana as a young girl. It was taken as a lark, and somehow it wound up with me. If Miss Romana knew, I'm sure she would laugh. As a lark? Please, could Sir find it in his heart not to mention this to Miss Romana? Sure, I got you, man. Picture of a beautiful building. There's something behind it. There's a note attached. Use a potato and a carrot for nutritious soup. If it isn't Mr. Billy, I hope the farm is going well, sir. I am well, as usual. I feel like you have no choice to but to be well. The Ideal Butler by Sebastian. Nice. Anybody in this room? This feels like it should be a bathroom to me. I don't know why. Lonely Street by Tepe. I can make a dessert with three fruit. Kitchen? Oh, hello. You must be Romana. I'm not trying to go into whatever this room is. I want to talk to Romana. Hello, Billy. I'm usually not busy, so feel free to stop by for a visit anytime. Can I snoop in this room now since you're going in? Yes, let me snoop in your house. Oh, this must be Romana's room. Very old chest of drawers. It must be expensive. Oh, she has two doors to her room. Okay, it just goes all the way across the stairs. Makes sense. Honestly, it's kind of a weird setup for a house, but whatever. Is this the kitchen then? Yes, okay. Oh, there we go. These people got a freezer. See, only us rich and powerful folk have giant freezers. An old but well-cared-for kitchen. No food has been prepared yet. Many expensive-looking dishes are here. Makes sense. Sure, sure. I, too, like to have expensive dishes just on display, not being used. That's what expensive dishes are for, after all. I just take the cat anywhere in the house? No one's in. Okay. Well. How about this one? This door doesn't seem to be used? What? Then why is it there? <laughs> Seems to be locked. Where's Lumina at? Into the light by shoe. Water play by rabble. Hmm. Guess maybe Lumina's just out and about right now? <laughs> I like our eyes every time we try to take the cat outside. It's amusing to me. Alright. Hopefully we have enough time to still get home and plant our, our seed. Hoe some soil and plant our seed. Run, little Billy, run. Oh, hi, Lumina. 
Hello, Billy. How are you? At this time of year, I feel like going outside. Is farm work fun? It looks kind of interesting. I mean, you want to come over sometime and learn? <laughs> Get dirty? We battling or breeding? We're breeding. Uh, okay. That's a look. <laughs> it's not the worst I've seen by far. Oh, God damn it! Get out of first person view. Do not like the first person view. Also don't like the fact that it takes us an hour to run across town. Come on. Assuming everybody's like heading to the bar right now. That's why everyone's walking around. That bar looks awfully small for this many people though. Maybe not. Well, there's a watering trough. I'm assuming we should probably put the animals in at night. I would like... Oh, there's tabs here. Cool. I would like the hoe, please. Lay heavy hoe. I'm assuming we need to leave a gap of one between each tree, because it said not to plant anything under the trees. Wait, am I seriously tired already? I had a drink! How am I tired? I think there was four different fruit trees, right? Or was it five? Uh, seeds. Turnip, potato, carrot, yam, peach. Oh, I'm hungry. I mean, I guess I could drink the cow's milk, right? Eat. There you go. I'm assuming that's going to help us in some way. All right, seeds. We got orange. That's a that's a tree. I really hope this is enough spacing. I'm, I'm just guessing. I don't know. Oh shit, we got one, two, three more. Okay. Uh, apple. I might be throwing away a bunch of money right now. I really don't know. But nanners. And then leave a gap of one, I guess. I want to do it like kind of off center, maybe. Heavy ho. The fields are so small, man. I really like in like Back to Nature and Stardew Valley and stuff like that, where the the trees do take up one spot, but all of like your normal crops take up a three by three grid. I guess the idea in this game is just like each seed's probably worth more, or each plant's probably worth more, or maybe the focus is more on animals. I don't really know. Uh, let's at least get these things watered. Tools. Watering can. We're getting tired again. So we might not be able to plant any more than this today. So whenever you're in the field and you're moving around, the game, like, waits a second for you to start moving. I'm assuming it's so you have easier control of, like, where you're pointing the tool. But it's kind of annoying, to be honest. Um, I don't think I need to water anything more than once a day, right? Since I already started planting tomatoes, I still want to get the rest of the, or the last tomato planted. Uh, oh, 
this is tools, seeds, tomato. Come on, go. Ah, too far. Damn it, dude. Oh my god, I hate everything. There we go. And then... Watering can. Water that bitch real quick. Beautiful. Do the crops need water twice? Oh god. Okay, I'm assuming that's our sign to stop. <laughs> so hopefully things don't need watered more than once, because yeah, we apparently are like dying right now. Oh, okay. R1 kind of flips the camera around based on, like, whichever way you're looking. It must, like, reset the camera or whatever. I do appreciate having a button that just puts all the animals away, though. That was always rough in, like, the, uh... And back to nature. Taking the animals out to pasture really just isn't even worth it. Like, chickens aren't too bad, but the cows... It just takes so long to push them back inside that... Honestly, I'd rather just leave them locked up all the time, man. <laughs> like, it might sound mean to the cows, but it's just so much easier to take care of them that way. Is the bar hopping this time of night? Everybody in town down here having a drink? Literally nobody. Awesome. Hi, Muffy. So Muffy really doesn't sell anything, do they? Okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense for no one to hang out at the bar. There's literally no seating in here, dude. Everybody just has to stand at the counter to eat or drink, rather. Seems like a bad uh, design for a, for a bar, <laughs> you know? Should at least have a couple tables or something, or, or stools at the bar, maybe. Yeah. Sure feels good out. Maybe I should go hiking or something. At 10 o'clock at night, dude? Don't you think it'd be better to, like, I don't know, be heading to bed, maybe? Hello, Gribs. You got anything to say before we head to bed? Uh, about crops. To raise crops, first I'd till the soil with a hoe, plant a seed, and water it. Water the soil when it gets dry. Eventually, a flower will bloom and harder, and after a while, the crop will be ready to harvest. Fertilizer can help make better crops. Remember that crops planted next to trees won't grow. If you have other questions, look at my notebook. I will look in your notebook. It sounds like maybe it is best to water the crops a couple times a day, but we do not have the energy for that. I feel like if we try to water anything else again, we're going to die. Not literally, but you know. Pass out or whatever. Crops. Planting. Uh, she must be planted at a particular time of year in a particular kind of soil. Analyze seeds. Soil at this farm gets better the farther from your house. Biggest field is the most fertile. It's best to plant a seed as soon as possible in compatible season. If the seed season ends before the harvest will wilt, don't plant seeds next to trees. Okay. Taking care of plants. After you plant a seed, you must water it. Water again when the soil dries out. After the harvest, water is unnecessary. Trees don't need to be watered. Remember that there is a limit to the amount of water that will be effective. Okay. Um, crops. Harvesting. Fruits and vegetables can be harvested a while after the plant's flowers bloom. Root crops can be harvested when the plant's flowers wilt. Trees grow tall and produce a large amount of fruit when in season. When the fruit is ready to pick, you can shake the tree and then pick up the fallen fruit from the ground. Okay. Really actually doesn't tell us much, does it? Assets. Oh, that's like our net worth or whatever. Mini games? Huh. How do we play mini games? I want to play mini games. Alright, save. Can we save without sleeping in this game? It's pretty cool if we can. Save 
successful? Uh, yes, finish. Yeah, it's still night. Cool. All right, sleep. Uh, okay, and you can save before going to bed. That makes sense. <laughs> wow, that's it's a good sleep uh screen right there, man. I like that. That's <laughs> what? Why? Why did we have to look at that for so long? I thought maybe the game was loading while doing that, but there was still a loading screen afterwards. I just want to check my crops. It's like two in the morning. It's time to get off, but. Is anybody gonna holler at me as soon as I come outside here? No? Oh, hello, doggy. Oh, we woke up later today. I wonder if it's because we went to bed later. Old Dan is relatively healthy. Okay. What's the train? Uh. Okay. <laughs> Good boy. And up. Come on. Up. Up, up. Up. Maybe you're too small for that still? I don't know. Alright, whatever. <laughs> I'm done. Those are still growing. Tomatoes look like tomatoes. The mugwort or whatever regrew, so that's fine. I guess we can harvest that every day, right? Last thing I want to do before we go, I just want to see if the, uh, if all the flowers up here and stuff regrew. Like, is it fine for us to harvest everything from the woods every day, or should we listen to the sprites and only take stuff conservatively? Game slowing down. Obviously, there's too much going on here for the game to load. She'd be struggling. Okay, so the things did not regrow. Good to know, I guess. Well, I mean, that was fun, man. I, uh, definitely not my favorite Harvest Moon game. I could get into it, I think, though. Everything's just so slow. I wonder... I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was the GameCube this one originally came out on. I wonder if that version works better. Because uh, if so, I'd probably rather play that one. Of course, the GameCube also has Magical Melody. Which is probably my second favorite Harvest Moon game. So, if I was going to play one, you know, that's not back to nature. Yeah. Anyways, though, I still had fun. I hope you guys had fun, too. In the meantime, everyone, have a good night. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit. I hope to see you tomorrow while we play some of RimWorld, hopefully not getting everyone killed. Uh, but until then, have a good night, guys. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. I gotta find my mouse. Oh, God. It's so far away. Fine, I got it. I got it. There we go. Bye-bye.